going to talk a little bit about the coronavirus. <laughs> the city of Wuhan has started to disinfect the entire city. This is what's happening. <laughs> Pretty damn intense. While Wuhan is under actual quarantine, places like Beijing and the whole country, people are basically voluntarily staying indoors. People are keeping an eye on each other because the roads are closed too. You're not supposed to leave at all. So the neighbors are keeping an eye on their neighbors to see if anybody's breaking the, the rules. And so all the other towns have set up people that are stopping outsiders from coming in. <laughs> this guy is literally holding down the fort. People have stocked up on food. They stocked up on food two and a half weeks ago. They went home and watching my Chinese social media feed has been an experience in watching a whole country of people slowly go mad. They can't leave the house. They are incredibly bored. What I've been struck by is these people who are in an unimaginably horrible situation just finding ways to keep a good sense of humor and get through it. They have to find all sorts of ways that they can interact with each other. <laughs> you can't meet up with your friends to dance. You can't meet up your friends to dance. It's never happened before, and, but I, it's really admirable. People are finding a way to do Chinese New Year in quarantine. They have everything. They've got the lion dance. <laughs> Normally you'd go on vacation. This woman is leading a vacation inside her own apartment. <laughs> Or you can play mahjong with your friends. So it's really an unusual new year for many reasons. All of these people that are staying home, they're staying home to keep themselves healthy and they're staying home to keep their country healthy, but they're also keeping you healthy. Because these people didn't talk to somebody who talked to somebody who talked to somebody who got on a plane and then came here. So I want to give a round of applause to all of these people who are staying indoors. They're not just being indoors doing nothing. They are training. And they are training for the 2022 Olympics in Beijing. And so I would like to show you guys the inside, never before seen training video for the 2022 Beijing Chinese Olympic team. Thank you very much, everybody.